Hey guys, um, I'm on my way to the uh, York Supply House to get two restring kits to restring an electric heater on a mobile home because I, I was called out for no heat and they only had 5kW worth of heat working. So I am going to, uh, I own that. So the way these mobile homes are, you got two separate uh, like plates with heat kits. The top one is a 10kW, the bottom one's a 5kW. Well, I was getting power to all uh, left onto Drive. Sorry, it's my GPS. I was getting my 240 volts to the heat kit on all three of them. Only the bottom one was pulling amperage. So I pulled the wires off the ends of the top 10 kW and owned out, you know, the loop. In 1.3 miles, turn left onto Westgate Road. And neither one of them owned out. Like the heat, the strings were broken. So I pulled the heat kit out and sure enough, the top 10 kW both of them were broken in several spots um the furnace is not in good shape they said they didn't have the cash to, i gave them a price to change it out because the coil in the outside unit is not that old i gave them a price to change out the electric air handler furnace whatever you want to call it because it's down flow and um they said they couldn't afford it we tried to run them through my financing and they were denied we have some really cold weather coming for the starting the day after tomorrow and for like three days after that it's going to be in the low 20s here so 5kw is just not going to keep them warm so i gave them a price a ballpark price to restring the heat kit you know i told i, I gave them like a worst case scenario and she said well i, I can afford that so I haven't restrung a heater kit in years. Normally I just buy a new heater kit, but with these mobile homes, the uh, the one place that would have an entire heat kit, they're already closed for the day. They close so early. And uh, I gotta get these people some heat. I mean, it's it's already cold enough. It's in the 40s right now and they still need heat. Don't pass this light. So, then at the next one, turn left. So, uh, I'm gonna go get two restring kits and I'm gonna try to film it for y'all. I, I don't, I've never done a restring uh, video and I don't believe I've ever seen one or if I have seen one, it's it's been a long, long time. So I'll try to prop the camera up where we can uh, restring this thing for y'all and see if we can get them going. I'm also gonna change the limit switches or the limit switch. I think there's one yeah but i have i have limit switches in my truck um and i'm also going to put a new sequence Uh, don't say something, but uh, we don't get you know, the cash. We replace the service. Yeah. Oh, 
Okay, so I got very little footage of me actually restringing it, but it's restrung. Restrung. All new terminals. New limit. And that's the 5KW that I didn't restrain. Okay, so new sequencers, new limit switch. This top row right here with the 10 kW. And you can see where it's separated to 5KW. The top row is 10KW. And you can see where it separates in the five. Changed out the limit switch for the top. Changed out the sequencers. We left the limit switch on the 5KW that we didn't restring because uh, it was still good. When I went to turn the power back on, these two old ones would not release power. So we changed out. Both breakers, so two breakers, sequencer, double stack, limit switch, restring the top. So they have their heat back. You can see the condition of the furnace. It, it needs to be replaced. Look at the run cap man that's been here. I probably should check. 7.5 It's got oil on it and one of the capacitor spades broke Right here On my index finger that one broke Let's see if the capacitor is testing Well, there we go. Oh, that's pretty. One point zero four two. I'm picking it up here on the clean and here on the clean. Okay, got the new capacitor in and we strapped it. We made two new connections. Got rid of this electrical tape. So I just gotta slide this back in. There was my light. So we're checking each one individually. We're at the top right now. We have 21 amps, which is 5KW. Now we're going to go to that middle black. Middle, middle black. 5KW, 21 amps. And then the very bottom black right here. That's the one that we did not restrain because it didn't need to be restrained. 20 amps on it, so we're working. And if we get 
this plate off. We have 45 amps on that leg, so that's the top 10 that I restrung. And then this smaller wire will have the remaining five. There you go. 15 kW. System is working. All right, y'all. Well, we're done with that. And uh, that was a elderly lady that lives in a really nice mobile home. It's a, it's a, it's a older mobile home, but I mean, it is in immaculate condition. I mean, she takes very good care of it. Um, and you know, most of you that have been following me, I've talked about this before. I have a soft spot for the elderly that are on fixed income and all that. I just, you know, it's not their fault. They've put in their time, you know, they, they deserve a break and some help. A lot of companies, especially around here, they don't care if you're 20 years old or 70 years old. If you ain't got the money, they won't help you. Her bill came out to a certain dollar amount and she asked me if she could split it up, pay me tomorrow, and then pay me the remaining half. Pay me half tomorrow and half the next Friday. And I said, I'm totally fine with that because I now I, I use QuickBooks on the laptop for invoicing but not for the elderly I, I have handwritten tickets that I had made up uh, professional ones and I always use that for the elderly that way I have black and white and it says on there half on whatever tomorrow which is January 21st or whatever the date is and then the remaining half on the 28th or whatever next week is. And she signed it. So if she wouldn't pay me, I got it on black and white. But I'm not worried about her paying me. She's a very nice lady. And uh, I just, I'd be really, really shocked if she didn't pay me. So um, that was something a little different. Uh, like I said, the uh, parts house for uh, to get a whole new heat kit they close really early and not only that i don't even think they stock them that's the first heater kit i've restrung in years but it came out really well like uh, i took my time with it and uh it was actually pretty simple um i bet you it's been close to 10 years since i've restrung a heater kit but like I said, I took my time. It, it was nothing to it. I actually enjoyed it. It was something different, something I haven't done in a while. And uh, this may not be the best video in the world, but I got what I could. So anyway, uh, thank you all for watching. And we'll see you guys on the next one.